there are two basic categories of algorithms. We can have symmetric algorithms and we also have asymmetric. So let's take a look at the symmetric algorithm category. A symmetric algorithm is often called a secret key algorithm. It's called that because we use the same key to encrypt and decrypt a message. That means that both the receiver and the sender need to have the same key. And if the key is not secret, then it's not a secure algorithm. There are a few weaknesses here. Key distribution can be problematic. In other words, how do I get the secret key from the sender to the receiver without anybody grabbing it in between? There are ways to do it, but it's a little bit difficult in some cases. Also, it lacks non-repudiation. That means that there's no easy way using secret key algorithms or symmetric algorithms to figure out that who said they sent the message actually sent the message. And it's not very scalable because if you want to send one message out to a lot of people, you have to first ensure that every intended recipient has a copy of your key. However, the main strength of symmetric algorithms is that they are fast. They tend to be much faster than their asymmetric partners. Let's take a look at what they're actually going to look like. Here is a symmetric algorithm. On the left-hand side, we see the encryption mechanism. To encrypt a file, you take plain text, you pass it through the algorithm with a key. The algorithm uses the key to transform plain text into ciphertext. You then send the ciphertext to the receiver. The receiver takes the ciphertext, runs it through the algorithm with the same key, and produces the original plain text file. So that's it. It's very simple. One algorithm, one shared key, one key that's secret between the receiver and the sender, and you can transform plain text into ciphertext and back again.